Let's animate a bee flying using a motion path. First on our bee, B, we want to make sure everything is connected in a hierarchy. So with my outliner window open, I'm going to make sure that the B, which is the thorax, is the main parent with everything else connected to it. To do that, you just select the item that you want to parent to the main part, control select the parent object and click P and just repeat that for all the other objects. And you see now, I can collapse the B and all the other objects on the body are contained in it. And if I select the B and move it, let me center the pivot, all the objects should move with that. And my wings did not move. Let me just make sure it's the right object. I'll rename that. Once again, parent that. Now hopefully everything's set to move with the B. And it is. First we want to get the wings in a beating pattern. So we're going to keyframe the wings down up and we'll keep him it back down and I'll repeat that for the second wing you frame it down, rotate it up just a little bit, and I'm going to do it at one frame difference just to kind of get a little alternating beating going on. Now in the graph editor, under Windows, Animation Editor, Graph Editor, We'll find the keyframed sequence, which is our rotate X. And under curves and post and infinity, we're going to cycle that. And we'll do the same thing for the other wing. So now, as long as the scene goes, we're going to get a nice little beating of the wings. To get the bee to fly, first we need to create a path. So from the top view, I'll zoom out. And I'll create a Bezier curve with this flight path. Remember, you want to make it nice, general, sloping turns, even if the bee turns quickly. And now we'll select the B. Once again, you should probably do it from the outliner just to make sure you select the right part of the B. Shift select the motion path. Under the animation menu set, we'll select constrain, motion path, and attach to motion path. Now watch our B fly. If you notice my B is not turned correctly, that's okay. On the motion path, I can change the front axis. I'll try Z. And it looks like the B is loading fine. Also at this point, we can go into the path 
and you can actually move the path up and down to get the bee to move a little bit in altitude as he's flying. <laughs> 